Noi siamo qua con Mauricio. Ciao. Ciao. No parlo italiano bueno. And io non speak English good. Is the same? Yes. <laughs> So we just got into Florence. Um, this is our hotel room. It's cute. It's got a nice, cute cupboard. It's a little window. Uh, lots of mirrors, what I've noticed. I wonder if that's like an architectural strategy of the Florentines. I wonder if it's just like this hotel is super reflective. Uh, so we just took a whole bunch of pictures in front of the Duomo. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is used for, like what this building is. I mean, it's giving church, but I'm really not sure. I okay, so we are here in San Migiano in Siena and like taking in the countryside here's they say that they have a ton of wild boar that's yeah. how big I think is look well. yeah they don't kill them they ruin all of the olives and wine and vineyards but it's also like a a popular dish here, the Papar Deli, uh, with wild boar sauce. Mm. Per favore, piccolo uh, stracciatella. So where are we exactly right now? We are on the back of San Gimignano. We are in the district of Siena. She is Ida and she is the person in charge for you today. So I leave you in her hands. We make the famous and wonderful, the king of Tuscan wine, the famous Brunello. We go close to the body and we start to make the famous movement. In this way, we permit the white flavor to come out and to come directly to our nose, how we smell. We don't do like this or like this, no. We go, mark the nose inside. And we smell. Our extra virgin olive oil is uh, like a little bit bitter and spicy as flavor and uh, have the intense flavors of vegetables, especially artichoke. This is a, an, oil, an olive growing only in Tuscany. This oil, olive, I'm sorry, is called moraiolo. Taste just a little bit because it's incredibly spicy. And this is the reason why our olive oil <laughs> is so famous because, you know, by using that uh, olive, you know, the, the, the flavor of the oil is very persistent in all your palate. Yeah. This valley, all the way all around, is my farm. How many acres? Nine hectares and uh, uh, four hectares here and another five hectares, five kilometers from here. Mm. Sangiovese grapes. The form of Sangiovese is a compact, is a close, is a typical from Sangiovese. It's a planted the vines, with the vines two months after planted. Literally, we just smelled like olive oil, I guess, that had been pressed once, like straight in the in the metal container. 
and it smells so fresh. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Also, this view, like living here, working here, is incredible. I mean, look at, at just where we are right now. So they made, they made us homemade pasta, gnocchi, and we're trying the wines currently. Very good. I'm not sure which place I like better. I like the vibe of this place better. It's more like homey and family, but uh, I'm not sure which wines I like better. It's really interesting though to be able to see like where they're made and where they're pressed. Like he literally has the, the factory, the small factory right here. We just finished making pasta uh, ravioli with, uh, honestly, if you're coming to Italy, take a cooking class. If you're coming to Florence, take a cooking class here. If you know me, you know that I'm a awful cook and it, this actually looks really good. And obviously I had supervision, so it's, it's gonna be great. And I'm hoping that I can replicate this when I go back to the States and I don't have supervision. So we just left um, the cooking class and experience with Varina and Eduardo. I learned a new phrase, piacere di conoscerla. And it's essentially like, it was nice to meet you. Um, so of course I'm learning a little Italian, practicing. We're on our way to the Piazza di Michelangelo um, because there's supposed to be like a view that they recommended we go see. Now we're in this like little, personal market. They also have these things like these sort of bag handles. You can customize your bag and they seem to have it like everywhere. I saw a lot more of them in Rome, but they have it in Florence too. If you come to any of these cities in Italy, like walking is so valuable and important and that's probably what you're gonna do to get around anyways. But like build time into your schedule to do nothing, like just to explore. That is crucial to making sure you get the best experience out of any country you visit. Um, that looks good. I'll have to try a piece. Oh my God. Mm. My Delicious. Delicious. Wow. Thank you, grazie. Come se dice check, please? Ponto. Ponto. Ponto? Ponto. Grazie. 